Hello and welcome to another video of beginner series. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss two list function list.max and list.max n. So let's jump out of the Power BI. Let's quickly create a list by using enter data. I'm going to create a column and I'm going to use that as a list uh, later on. Uh, so we are going to do it in two manner. One, we are going to use a list itself, uh, the hard coded list. And second time we will try to use a table uh, column in that one. So let's have something like one, two, five, nine, eight, 14, and let's say minus one. So we have a list now, uh, we have a column now, and let's call it data four. And let's use edit so we directly reach to the power query mode or the data transformation mode. So now we got a table. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a column in this table, but I'm not going to use the column. Uh, I'm going to use a list which I'm going to create in the formula itself. So I'll say max. And let me use the function which I'm going to want to use is list dot max. And inside that this function m is capital in this one. And inside this function, it needs a list. So I'm going to create a list angular brackets inside the angular brackets. We can create a list. So one comma two comma three comma four comma nine. And let's say comma 15 comma minus one. Let's create a list like that. And I'm going to copy this complete formula also. So I created a list. Uh, it's a static list here inside the formula itself. And I say, OK, and you will see the maximum number out of this list out of one, three, 4, 9, 15 and minus 1 the maximum is 15 so it's giving 15 and why it is repeating on all the rows because it's a static list for all the rows we are repeating that list and we are asking max of that so that's why it is repeating that same number okay this is list dot max so giving the maximum out of the list so now let's create one more function and this time around what we are going to do is we are going to use max n what does max n does so and we copy paste this and then max n in the max n we can give one more argument here is basically the argument is a number of the elements in the list we need that is maximum okay so we give an argument and let's say we give three so it should give us top three okay so it gives us a list and we click on the list we see the top three are coming in if something is repeating is also going to uh, consider that so let's say nine is two times and we're going to take nine two times okay so we got the max here, out here now we would like to use uh, now a column, a column from a table to find out a max of that one. So we would try, want to try that. So for both max and max and we want to try that. So let me, first of all, what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, go to data, advanced editor, and I'm going to find out the table name. I should take the immediate uh, previous step table name, but I'm going to take here this name. Uh, ideally in this step, I should have taken edit custom, custom instead of this one, but right now I'm going to take change type only. So I go to this added column and here what I'm going to say, see if I give a simply give a column, let's say if I simply give a column here, column one, then it is going to error out. Okay. So because it's not a list. So now to get a list, we just add the table name before it, um, which is available right now. And we immediately get 14, which is the maximum out of it. Previously 15, we have hard coded the 15. Now one more feature which is available here, which we have not tried, is there is a default value. So what happens if this entire column is empty, then we can give a default value, let's say zero or something like that. Right now you will not observe any difference, but if I make, instead of this one, if I make it empty, let's say, then you will be able to see the difference. So this is there, and if I remove zero, then you will get a null list. So you, now you are getting null because there is no element in the list, so you are getting null. So in such cases when you can, you are expecting that the entire column can have a um, entire column could be empty or and then we want to default it to something so then you can do it but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to again write down the table and column name and so that you know it can give me max up so now we go to the another one uh, which is basically max m and now let's go ahead and try out this on the column again table uh, and the column so we give table column we still keep it three so let it be three and we go we got a list and we click here See, we are getting 14, 8, and 5. These are the three our top element in the list. So we are getting those. So what happens if I may change this number? Let's say I make it 5. So I'll get a uh, list of the five elements, top five elements. This is like top three. Now, now this is top five. I can make it a little bit bigger. Because what happens if I give a number more than what is available? Let's say there's six elements available, and I give it, let's say, seven or eight, something like that. So 
and then I again getting a list and not getting any. I'm only getting six because six is available even if I give eight. But if I give minus one, then it's going to error out. That's not possible to have here. So let's try minus one here. It's going to give error here. Let's try zero also. What does happen there? So zero at least I'm getting empty list, but uh, I'm not going to get anything for minus one. I'm going to get an error. So positive numbers including zero are allowed in this operation. So so I, we are again make, make it minus one. Let me make it one so that I can get one. And one doesn't mean it's not going to give a list. Still, it's going to give you a list, and then you have to take out the element from the list to get what is the value. So go ahead and try out these uh, functions. Do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.